<laughs> Wonderful to have you here. Um, oh, I'm so happy to share whatever spirit brings to us, and I'm excited about the event. Obviously, I've I've been to the monastery. I, I know how sacred and how special of a place it is. Uh, and any opportunity that people get to be in that energy, uh, to share in, in that vortex, is going to be a great time. And I'm so excited about all of it. Could you just tell me your feelings about the first four and, and then the ongoing work of the Foundation for Inner Peace? Well, I, I have such gratitude for those four who said yes, even though they didn't know what they were saying yes to, but they felt it. And I love Helen's story especially. It's so impactful because here was a woman, unlike many people today, who channel or have brought, back, brought through inspired books and inspired works. Helen was the, the strangest candidate for this of all because she didn't believe, she had no background. She didn't have anything to gain. Certainly she had a great deal to lose. Being a professor at Columbia, University and all of her background being an academic and yet she said yes and she stayed with it and and Bill and the others They just kept following that. Yes, and they they built a foundation upon which we can all stand We, we, we you, you mentioned the foundation and we can look at that foundation in a couple of ways that the the legal foundation really was an aspect of that that energetic foundation that was formed by the original four and we today reap such benefit and we should be so grateful for them and for what the foundation has continued to do all these decades later. Because if not for that, yes, if, if not for the way that this amazing energy was to take, to take root in the world and in our lives, we wouldn't be here. This message from Jesus in A Course in Miracles needed to have those willing receptors, people who said yes when they didn't have anything as we have had to look back on. There was no precedent, I think you said. And to, and to know that, that they did their job and now it's up to us. They were kind of like the, the original apostles 2,000 years ago. But it wasn't just about them. It was about the second and the third generation and even, I think, if you want to be really literal about it, it has nothing to do with any of that at all. It has to do with my accepting this right now. And that is a gift that I receive from the people who have said yes and are saying yes right now. But it really is about this moment, realizing that there is but one extension of the love and the loveliness of God, and it's showing up right here in this moment. It's beautiful and we're having this event and it is a twofold function and the first is celebratory function of this making the commitment and the second is a fun raising event to to raise funds for the ongoing work of the foundation for inner peace so could you just tell me about what you're expecting for the event and uh, anything else you'd like to share well <clears throat> when it comes to events like this my my way is simply to show up and wake up and to be present and to have fun. That's a huge part of this, the celebration. When we come together and we celebrate this awakening, it is amplified. That's the power of community, of coming together, is to amplify the experience that I am in. To have 150 or 200 people all in one place celebrating this awakening and so to be able to come to the monastery there and do the same thing, to celebrate the foundation, to celebrate this awakening that's happening right now through each one of us. And that's what I'm excited about, the opportunity to come together and just to be in the presence, whether we're singing, meditating, sharing, sitting in a hot tub, it's all really the same thing. We're sharing in the presence. And I, I'm just so excited to be there and, and to be able to support the foundation at the same time is, is a great gift for all of us. And it's not a traditional retreat where there is teaching. It's going to be a lot of sharing of parables from the, the first four students of A Course in Miracles. And, um, and I really look forward to joining with everyone. We'll have yourself 
and we'll have David Hoffmeister and Gary Renard and we'll have Carol Howe and we'll have John Mundy and Ria Felipe and everybody is coming to share their presence. And that's what's so exciting is that there's so many people today who have heard the call and who have said yes. And each one of us has a critical role to play. And yet the beautiful thing is that it's already been done. It's already happened. We're just remembering all of this. But we may as well remember it with joy and celebration. And that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're doing right now. But when we come together at the monastery, that's going to be a grand opportunity. And so I just want to invite everyone to come, to sing, to pray, to celebrate, and let's enter into this experience fully as one. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs>